Hello everybody, how are you today? Hope you're doing well. So I'm going to do something today that I've been wanting to try for a long time and I keep forgetting to do it. So this is um, Color Place black paint right out of the can from Walmart. Um, that is my pillow. We are going to be doing uh, all interferences on black with a few um, colored paints included. So I'm going to start out with um, this little piggy ball gown. It's an interference. So I'm debating. I, I saw um, this morning Lisa Marvin did a layered bloom and it was absolutely beautiful. So what she did is she laid her paints out here. She blew those out and then did another bloom in the center. Um, debating if I want to try that. What the heck? Let's try it. We'll do get two things I've been wanting to do for some time. So this is an eight by eight canvas. So we're gonna put our ball gown down like out here, not too too much. So that's ball gown. Then I'm going to go with velvet, which is a purple interference. We'll lay some of that. Okay. Then I'm using Amsterdam Prussian Blue to um, get some darkness in here and a little bit of blue, just a little bit so that those interferences will show up nicely with that. Okay, these are just, this is going to be our outer colors. Now I'm going to go with Glisten Interference, as this is, um, this is like a green blue. So we're going to have the gold, the purple, the green blue, um, and then a pink coming up next. So this is our green blue. Okay, and now comes the this little piggy sequins. So this is um, like a pinkish interference, pinkish reddish interference. So we're going to have all these beautiful interference colors shining up through this black. Not up through, up on top of. Okay, so that's that's going to be our outer petals, the first part of the layered bloom. I hope mine turns out as gorgeous as hers does. Lisa does amazing, amazing work. All right, I just made some new cell activator today. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to put the cell activator here and just blow these out but leave ourselves some pillow in the center. And I'm gonna do these one at a time. So that the cell activator doesn't sink. So I'm gonna try and stay out of 
the middle so that we still have some pillow to do the remaining bloom on. So let's kind of get this. Okay, now you notice, look at how those interferences are shining. All I put down was white looking like pigment. And you can see how they really play on top of that black. It's very pretty. You wouldn't think that it would do that, but it did. And we're not going to get tons of cells out here because this is going over um, all pigments and very little paint. Remember, all we have in there is the Prussian blue. So that is that's beautiful. So now I'm going to try and look and see. Yeah, I think I think we have enough paint in the center. So now we're going to do another bloom. Okay, in the center. So, I'm going to start with Quinacridone Rose. Eh. I don't know. This, no, we're, I'm not. <laughs> Changing my mind. This is too much pink. We're going to go with this uh, light rose instead. It's a little more muted. So this is paint by Amsterdam. Light rose. Oh. Poopy. I have a dribble there. We'll get rid of it. Um, sterling pigment. That is this little piggy's silver pigment. Catch that before it dribbles someplace else. And, or, which is this little piggy's gold pigment. Reminds me of Burl Ives, silver and gold. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to pop our little bubbles I have no idea if this is going to turn out or not I didn't get as many cells as I wanted out here but it's still beautiful the coloring so we're going to put cell activator down and then we're going to blow this out just a little bit. I 
I do want to get some gold right there. All right. So now you can see we kind of have a bloom inside of a bloom. Hopefully we'll get some cells in the center there. And we are. So let's give it time. Well, while it's doing that, we can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of blend these two together. So... It kind of looks like they belong to each other. Like we didn't make them separately. So just doing so I just have a little embossing tool I got it at the Dollar Tree um, I really like this tool as it doesn't grab like a skewer wiping it after every uh, I'm going to try and drag some black in there so it looks like that's a continuation of the center bloom. See how that worked? Now I do want to get rid of this. That'll come off. So this is pretty so far. Now, I'm going to take, where's my little tool? I'm going to take, kind of bring this out here, help it so that when I spin, it goes out to the edges. easier. I hope, hope, hope I have enough paint on here. Pretty. Not perfect, but a good first try. So we've got, yeah, we got pretty cells. Let's spin. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. This is gorgeous. Let's do it again. Oh yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Getting there. Now you saw the colors I put down. They all looked white, didn't they? That's this is what the interference colors do. They just they just shine on top of that black. They love being on top of dark colors. Look at this. Oh my. Okay, so now I'm getting messy. Let me, oh, this is beautiful. 
so excited. I'm trying to get my jar of spare paint open. And I can't. It is stuck. Let me try this one. There we go. So let me get my scraper. Well, first of all, no. First of all, we're going to get the sides here. I could have used a little bit more pillow paint, but it's working. It's it's almost there everywhere. Just a few spots on the sides here. So let's touch that up there. Okay. Now I can scrape. I don't know why, but black always makes the biggest mess. Every time. Way much more so than the white. Look at how pretty. Oh, wow gorgeous so you see we have our outer bloom out here which though we do have some cells not as many as I would have liked but that's because that center bloom kind of spreads out over what you've already done so that's part of it but I didn't really have a great blow on this but I love how it's wispy how pretty is that just wish I had a little bit more here but it's okay so i think we are done because i didn't have a lot of pillow paint on there so let me show you i'm going to take you down we're going to turn on the flash and just look look at those colors in there and i think that i have also realized by doing this painting what I'm going to try next. An Aurora Borealis look with interference. How pretty would that be? As opposed to, you know, stark paint. This really gives it a look like an Aurora Borealis. Northern Lights, if you don't know what that is. So... I'm very happy with how this turned out. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. And um, give me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Okay, everybody. There is our layered interference bloom. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.